ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alan Goodwin! What a nice club, right? I, I used to live in New York City, which is dangerous. If you ever moved to New York City, here's a survival tip that I learned when I lived there, okay? I'll share it with you, ready? It's easy. It's just avoid other people, okay? I'll tell you, and especially Times Square, you're trying to avoid flyer pamphlet people. Because they are just trying to shove a flyer in your face, okay? And here's what you do. Here's the technique I developed, all right? This is good information. It's called the full up technique, okay, full up, that's what I named it, and it's simple, all you have to do is carry something in both hands, now you are full up, okay, you cannot accept their stupid flyers, because you're full up, alright, I would always carry a cell phone and a handgun, and I, I can't do it, give it to him or her, or one of those two, because I, hold on, I'm getting a call, hello, what's going on, baby, I'm in Times Square, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's a guy right in front of me. Yeah. So give me a fire. I've got a gun in his face. It's not helping. I know. I, I know. It's crazy. I don't know what to do. I, I gotta go. I think this joke is over. I do like rock and roll. Do you guys like rock and roll? No? Just me? Yeah? I like the old stuff, the new stuff. Uh, the 60s had better lyrics, 70s had better guitar. You can tell lyrics are getting worse in the late 60s because Cream had the White Room song, remember? It's like, in the white room with black curtains in the station. They wrote that song because they needed one more song on the album they were working on. They were in a white room with black curtains in the radio station. They were brilliant. We all could have done that. I could have been like, in the bathroom with the shower curtains that had little fishes, right? <laughs> Millions right there, right? And some bands they were more like never been to the desert almost with no name. Who cares, okay? <laughs> Go to the desert in a Volkswagen with no air conditioning, right? <laughs> That's something I can relate to, alright? In the late 70s, you couldn't understand the lyrics. Unintelligible decade. Some bands messed up all the lyrics. Some bands just messed up the middle, right? Here's a band that messed up all the lyrics. Doobie Brothers, right? I didn't get anything. <laughs> I got the beginning and the end of the peg song. I didn't get the middle of the peg song, right? It was like, Peg, it will come back to you. Peg, it's yours alone. It's your favorite foreign movie. What the hell was all that? You guys have the Duke Brothers in the middle? I didn't get the middle, right? And then in the 70s or 90s, it all came back. Here's the man that messed up the middle of the lyrics in the 90s, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I love them. I'm not dissing them. They brought sex out in rock and roll. Who would talk about that subject in the 60s? Nobody. The closest they got was, Let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. What are you talking about? I can't say it. All right? And that's all I can say. Flowers, bees. That's it. All right? <laughs> 70s, they got closer to that song. It's like, when they get my baby, gonna grab a tight gun. Gonna make a little laugh and you get right? And you knew what they were talking about, and they were dancing around the subject. Because in the 90s, the peppers were like, What I got, you gotta get it, put it in you. That's the stuff right there. I mean, please stop missing any words. He has got something and he's gonna put it in you. And I don't watch out for that. Sorry. But what were they saying in the middle of their song? Soul of Squeeze, I got everything except the middle, right? It was like, take me to the river, lady, on your shore. I'll be coming back, baby, I'll be coming back for more. Do the little things you said you don't want, baby. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know I forget, but I will not remember. Say my pleasure's ever better, but I won't regret it ever. I can always go with some of the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bueller, no one, right? Yeah, yeah. They're still doing it. They got that, I know, I know, for sure. I know, 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 I and then the band that messed up all the lyrics in the 90s, Pearl Jam with the yellow Ledbetter, oh my god, right? Eddie Vedder did 
no other words for that. I swear to God. They just wrote that song so we could have a song to end the show on and he could get drunker throughout the set. And then when they get to the last number, he doesn't have to know anything. He's just wasted. Like, home, you love, Oh, peace, I don't want to be so loud, I don't want to say.